can can. I love teaching can can. I'm going to explain why in this video. If you enjoy these, then I am very glad for that. And I'm going to encourage you to subscribe. I'm going to encourage you to tell others to subscribe. And that might be a fellow teacher, string teacher. It might be a student or just anybody that you know that wants to learn a little bit more about how to play a string instrument. It would help me and thank you in advance. I was thinking about calling this video uh, Hand Frames <coughs> Horizontally, Learning Hand Frames Horizontally. And uh, what a boring title. <laughs> so that's why I called it Can Can Learning Hand Frames Horizontally. The Can Can I'm sure got your attention. Like, Ooh, I wanna watch that one, right? I was in a store over the summer there was an older gentleman at the front of the store, and he was just kind of waltzing a little bit, going, yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do you know Can Can? You have to be a music teacher, or a retired one anyway. Uh, he was a little bit older, and uh, I, I should have asked him. I, <laughs> it would have made my story a little bit more interesting. But I love teaching Can Can for several reasons. One, the kids love it. They will work their fingers through the bone to be able to play Can Can. It's a catchy tune. And if, and if I don't have to convince them to learn something because they want to learn something, that's an intrinsic value. And go for it, kid. Let's learn Can Can. And even though I've done it a million times, it's okay. Right? It's perfectly all right. That's, that's one reason. So it's, so it's motivating. Number two, it's got two th uh, really great teaching opportunities. And I'll, I'll go to the second one. The video's not really about that. Uh, but check this out. And as soon as you play that for the kids, you say, what is that? And they go, oh, that's a scale. And so you are right. Normally, we play scales from the bottom to the top and then come down. Normally, we do that. But in here, they just skip the whole ascending part of it. Isn't that cool? And they're like, yeah, that's cool. Kids love patterns. Find patterns. They, they just think it's the, the neatest thing that it does that. Okay, but that's not the real reason I like teaching can can. It's 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 here in this measure. They struggle with this A B F, uh, F sharp or fifth G. They struggle with that. Uh, it's a skip, and normally they've been doing lots of steps like scales. That's you know if they've had a skip right here. It, there were some skips in there, but it's it's a lot of scale-wise things. But this one's tricky because it's not only a skip, but you have a string crossing. This is true for everybody except bass. I'll talk about bass in a little bit. Uh, but they struggle with that. And then it's my opportunity to say, you know what? We learn hand frames vertically a lot. We also learn hand frames horizontally across the string. So we learn them both ways. So all this geography I'm getting you guys to figure out, uh, you, need to, you need to know it both ways. And I get them to understand that, and here's a great opportunity for you. And that is this, <clears throat> I'll tell them. Well, you know them vertically. Here's, here's vertically. The scale. I, I understand that my hand frames look like this on violin and viola. And I'm just simply playing a scale. Piece of cake. That's super easy, I get that, okay? But here, they, they struggle with that jump. So I'll, I'll tell them this. Can you play B to C sharp? And they all roll their eyes at you. Like, we've been doing that for weeks. So yes, of course we can play B to C sharp. And they'll say, you can play B to F sharp because it feels, listen to my words very carefully, because I say this very carefully to them. It feels the same. Or I'll, I'll say it this way. It is a whole step, B to C sharp, B to F sharp, it feels like a whole step. I'm just, rather than landing on the A string, I'm just landing on the D string. But I still have that same distance between first and second finger. It's not a whole step. Please don't hear what I'm not saying. I didn't tell you that was a whole step. Because B to C sharp's the whole step. But B to F sharp feels like a whole step. And here is the beauty about teaching is you've got these little guys and they're having fun and they're enjoying. And when you do stuff like this and you find stuff like this, you see immediate light bulbs. And that's like, ah, oh, they get it. And they get it really quick. 
again, kids love patterns and they and they love when you can dissect something and, and explain it in a way that makes sense to them. It's called transfer, right? B to C sharp they can do. Uh, let's transfer B to F sharp. Oh, they can do that. You're just skipping a string. It's not that big a deal. It looks like a big deal on the page, but the truth is it's not that big of a deal. And as soon as they get that light bulbs and, and then you smile and you're like, this is why I'm in the classroom. Moments exactly like this is why I'm doing this. Isn't that cool? It feels like a whole set. No big deal. And they'll do that right away. Okay? Uh, so the whole step feeling. Now we do this all the time. Oh, by the way, let me back up for, for cellos. Um, you, you're doing also a whole step. You go B to C sharp for a whole step. And what you're doing here is going B to F sharp. You're, you're skipping, uh, you're, you're string crossing just like we do, but rather than uh, putting that third finger on the A string, you put the third finger on the D string. All right, so um, B, F sharp. It's a whole step feeling, because you can play B to C sharps all day long, whole steps, but it feels like a whole step. Now bass is a completely different animal, and, and so what bass are doing, they're going from B to F sharp, and they go from four to four, and they're, they're just rolling across. So this doesn't work quite as well for them. But find moments that you can help a bass as well. Uh, for them, A to F sharp would be that, that whole step feeling. And then ask them, hey, can you play A to B? And the answer is yes, I can play A to B on the G string. Well, you can also play A on the G string, F sharp on the D string. It will feel, listen to my words very carefully, feel like a whole step. And so you can find moments for them too, all right? But here right now, it's just, it's a, a great opportunity for uh, violins and violas, okay? So to recap, learn your hand frames vertically on the string, but also learn them horizontally on the string, okay? Oh, sorry, I gotta just do it one more time. I bet you turned it off, didn't you? No. <laughs> okay. I will see you at the next video.